This is another Pi Simple GUI tips video. I generally make these videos as a reference for my future self. But if you found your way here, welcome to the channel and I hope you find something useful. Today we're talking about the combo element and how to step it up a little bit and make the combo element editable and if you're going to edit it, then you're going to want to save it between uh, program runs. So we'll be using the uh, user settings API to save and load it if we want to. Uh, let's get to the code. All right, so here's the layout that we have. So we might as well run it and... Um, Just a little short pro window that uh, has your combo boxes, the standard combo box. Um, when we created it, we uh, said we want to populate it with a list called name NAM. Um, I decided this time to use a empty list, but you could also pre-populate it with uh, a list of your own. Uh, that's only going to be valid the very first time you run it because otherwise, after you're done, you're going to save that list and recall it. So, um, and we do that down here with our user settings, get combo list, and then we're going to update the names list. So, all right. So, um, thing I did with this list is I uh, instead of having events uh, to be true uh, enable events to be true I'm only having an event when you hit the enter key or return key so um, th this way you can update the list so um, regular selections of the list don't uh, don't trigger any event, but you still can get the information out of it. But we can actually trigger an event to update our name list by doing uh, by hitting the enter key when we enter one. Like I said, right now we don't have any, so let's try this. So um, let's put Bob in, right? And if I hit the down arrow key. We still got nothing in the list, right? But if I hit the enter key, then Bob is entered in the list. And if we hit it, now we have Bob as a list item. And if we wanted to add another one, we could say Sue. All right. And we hit enter. And then we got Bob and Sue in our list. You can see I got our debugging down here. We're picking the um, value is the selected one. So when you when the event happens, it's it was Sue was the event because that was the selected one. But I'm also printing out the whole list of NAM names. So each time we add one to it, we can do that. Uh, we'll add another one. Tom, I guess. And then we'll hit enter. And you can see down here, we've got Tom as the entry and then Bob, Sue, and Tom as list items. So um, that all happens down here where we're just, uh, when the, we're getting a C, we're only getting it when we hit the M, and, uh, enter button is the only time this event happens. So it's checking to see if the value, in this case, Tom, was in this list before we did anything. So Tom wasn't in Bob and Sue. So it's going to go ahead and append that to the um, name list. And then of course, we got to update the values that we use in that combo box so that, you know, uh, name is 
available. So, yeah, so we can also remove an item from the list. So if we hit the enter button, if it, if we, so this is if it's not in name. So, but if it is one of our names and we hit the enter button, it's going to delete it. So let's choose one of these other ones. So we'll choose Sue. And um, it's going to remove that name from the list. This is just a Python list uh, methods. And uh, then we're going to update our list. So it'll, it's going to return a blank value. It's going to take it off the list and then uh, update the list and then return a blank value. So I got Sue high, uh, Sue in there, and I'm going to hit the enter button. And you can see down here that Bob and Tom were uh, highlighted. The only thing that comes up is that now Sue is the value of uh, of of that list, even though there's nothing showing. But we didn't act on that. So as long as we don't act in it on it in our else here, then it's going to wait for another event and uh, it's going to happen. But you can see now it's not in the list. So another event would be an exit and it'll show you what the values are down there. So, oh, actually I didn't do that. So I didn't have that, but anyhow. Well, one thing, like I said, we were using our user settings the first time through, there was no file. So when it exited, it created a file and saved the combo list to a file. And the file, because we got this dot up here, is our path just renames our program name with a .json file so that they're associated with each other. So. If you notice, we had Bob and Tom when we left. So if we rerun this, we should, instead of having an empty list like we did the first time, we should have one with uh, Bob and Tom in it. And you can go ahead and add another name. Oh. Mary. Couldn't think of a good name, Mary. So, and then we're going to hit enter, and now Mary will be added to our list. Cool. We'll exit out of it again. It updated our thing. So, next time we run it, now we're going to have Mary in our list. So, I thought this would be a really good thing to do if you had keys, because by our actions down here, if we, if values are not in C, then they're, um, so you're getting unique values. So um, we couldn't do that. If we typed in an exact name, if we had, in, instead of just selecting Mary, well, let's show that. So we're going to select, we have Mary in there, but if we just type Mary instead, it's going to act the same uh, and hit enter. It's going to act the same because it finds Mary in our list already. It's going to delete it. So um, that's something to be aware of. So now, even though we thought we typed something and added it, it actually removed it. So, um, But like I said, I think this would be a good thing to use with uh, keys. If you want to keep track of a list of keys to use for other purposes, um, then this is going to give you unique events. But a lot of time you don't want to remove items from a key. So if you just left this else statement off, you'd be fine. You, you just keep having to add to your keys. And then, um, like I said, you have an increasing, this list would get in bigger and bigger and bigger. But anyhow, well, that's my video for today. Hope it was helpful.